Once the grapes are picked, they head to the crush pad. Our day continues in Yontville here at Cliff Lede Vineyards, where they've just brought in some Sauvignon Blanc, and we're going to see what happens to it next. I'm here with viticulturist Allison Cellini and enologist Laura Jones. Laura, what actually happens to the grapes once they get to the winery? What are the next steps? So when grapes arrive at the winery, we press the juice. The juice is transferred to a stainless steel tank, and then it's either fermented in the tank or in barrels. I understand the Cliff Lady is Napa Green certified. What exactly does that mean in the vineyard? We're committed to the land and conserving the land for future generations. 90% of the energy that we use in our winery is generated by the solar panels on our property. We also have a cave system that we use to store our barrels in. The cave system requires minimal amounts of energy for cooling. We collect our water and we use reclaimed water to irrigate our vineyards and our landscaping. What tools and techniques do you have to ensure that this is really great quality? We hand sort the grapes and we also have an optical sorter. We are able to remove any grape that doesn't meet color standard or shape standard. So is this just a crazy time of year for you? This is a crazy time. It's the exciting time though. We work all night so that we can bring the grapes in and process them during the day. It's been a busy morning and now I'm starving. I'm off to lunch. 